This video is for my global players, which should be most of you. So last night after the maintenance that of course went longer than expected, we got a pretty significant data download on global. And I think you guys are really gonna enjoy the contents of this one. So as always, a huge shout out and thank you. This is a haul on the Dokkan subreddit for compiling all the information in one place. And why don't we get started with the new cards that got added to the database. And the first guy we're gonna talk about is this brand new Int Super Saiyan Future Gohan. He's a reward for the current world tournament, and he's also a global exclusive at the moment, which just makes him extra awesome. But <laughs> as far as world tournament rewards go, he's actually a very solid unit. His leader skill is Super Int Types key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 70%. Super attack is Hyper Mesenko, raises attack and causes supreme damage to the enemy. And his passive is attack and defense plus 80%, key plus 2, and an additional 50% attack when there is an androids category enemy present. And last but not least, his links are all in the family, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Experienced Fighters, and Dismal Future. So like I said, when you consider all world tournament rewards in general, he's not bad at all. And the other awesome thing about him is that to grab a copy for yourself, you no longer have to place in the top 20k for the world tournament. All you have to do for this one is grind 23 million points, you'll get him as a reward. So that is absolutely fantastic news for people like myself who hate grinding world tournament at this point. Like seriously, it's getting really old, I can't do it anymore, so what I'm going to do for this world tournament and probably all the future ones is get my 30 million points, clear all the missions, grab all the rewards, and just call it a day because I really can't do it anymore. But there you go, guys. That is the new world tournament in Super Saiyan Gohan. And we're going to move on to the next one, the big one, which I think a lot of people clicked on this video for, the Transforming Vegeta. So this is his base art. And this is what you're going to see if you get lucky enough to pull him on his banner. And when he Dokkan awakens, he's going to look like this. You guys, if you watched my video from yesterday, you probably already know what he does. But for those who, who maybe missed it, his leader skill is going to be a pure Saiyan's leader skill. P plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. But he also gives super class allies P plus 3 and HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. So in yesterday's video, I said it was all types because that's what I was told. But I guess it was changed a little bit. But still, really, really good leader skill right there. His super attack is big bang attack, raises defense, and causes immense damage to the enemy. And his passive is, this is Super Saiyan, attack defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack plus 6% per key sphere obtained, and transform when conditions are met, which is basically just the next turn. So he's the same as the transforming Goku and transforming Frieza, where he'll transform every single turn from Super Saiyan to Super Vegeta to Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan God, and finally Super Saiyan Blue. And of course, every transformation will change his super attack, change his passive, and uh, he'll get stronger, of course. So I could actually show you all the forms as far as the art goes over here, but I'd rather show you guys the HD art. So let's hold on for a second. But that's the transforming Vegeta, guys. He is dropping and he's coming specifically at 1.30 a.m. on Monday, March 18th. Uh, that's Eastern Standard Time. Of course, you're in a different time zone that it's going to change a little bit, but it's dropping very soon, guys, within the next uh, three to four days, depending on where you live. Okay, so that's the Frieza. Sorry, why do I keep calling him Frieza? Vegeta. That's the Vegeta for you. And uh, there's also a new Int Super Vegeta that's dropping as part of the Transforming Vegeta's banner. I'm guessing he's going to be non Dokkan Fest exclusive. And uh, this is his base art, and this is his Transformed, or sorry, his <laughs> Awakened art. And look at that, look at that art guys, it looks freaking awesome. I really like it, but the other thing I really like is what he does on his passive. So his leader skill is in types, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90%, very good leader skill. Uh, super attack, spirit cannon, oh sorry, spirit break cannon, really raises attack for one turn, cause supreme damage, and his passive. His attack and defense plus 80%, raises attack and defense by up to 120%. The more HP remaining, the greater the boost. And he also performs a guaranteed critical when there is an androids category enemy present. I think actually, not just one critical, it's just all his attacks will be criticals if you're fighting an android. Um, that's just awesome. He's going to be a very, very strong card, guys. His links are Golden Warrior, Prodigies, Super Saiyan, Royal, Royal Lineage, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So that is the Int Super Vegeta right there. And the next one 
Okay, so this is actually Twitter, and I mean, I'm sure you guys can tell. And uh, this is on the page of Ayatone HD. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but he has all the HD arts for the forms of Vegeta. So we're gonna start from the top here. And this is the Super Saiyan Vegeta, so kind of like his first form. And then he's gonna transform next turn into the Super Vegeta. And then from there, he's gonna transform into Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Oh man, it looks so good. And uh, Super Saiyan God Vegeta, of course, the form I'm most excited for. And last but not least, we have the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta right there. And you guys didn't know, when he transforms into Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, he turns the entire board one time into all physical orbs. And um, no critical guaranteed, I'm pretty sure. No guaranteed critical, but he changes the entire board to all physical. He's also a nuker, so he gets plus 10% attack for every orb obtained. Less an additional 230% attack from those orbs the first time he transforms, which is absolutely insane. Can't wait to see what kind of nukes people can do with him, um, but that's exciting right there. So that is the Vegeta art. He looks freaking awesome. I really like this little thing that he put together too. Nice. Okay, so thank you to Ayatone HT for the art. And we're also going to check out his super attacks. Thank you to DBZ World for posting these. So let's just take a quick look, guys. So this would be for his base form, uh, Free Awakening. Alright, Gallic Gun. Nothing too crazy. This is his Super Saiyan form, so his first form after Awakening. Big Bang Attack. Alright, so... I'm gonna be honest, everything before Super Saiyan God doesn't really excite me too much. They do look better in general than the transforming Goku and Frieza. Um... But I still feel like it could have been, it's actually not bad. It's not bad. Final burst cannon right there. I do like the close-ups. They're they're doing that a lot with the new cards, right? The close-ups, and it looks a lot better in my opinion. Okay, that was Super Saiyan uh, two. It's Super Saiyan God now. Let me put an end to this. Lightning burst. Okay. So I did watch these before, but only briefly. And yeah, that, that looks pretty dope. Okay, that looks pretty dope. All right. And this is his Super Saiyan Blue Super Attack, and uh, this one is awesome. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't lie. This one looks awesome. Um, just like what they did with the Transforming Frieza and Goku, right? They had the, you know, the best Super Attack in the last form, which makes a lot of sense. But for, for Vegeta, you know what? The ones before the final form are still really good too. No, no, that was dope. Okay, and this is the Super Vegeta, by the way, the uh, Int one. Let me take care of this Gallic Gun. Uh, pretty standard stuff. I mean, a little bit better than the standard Gallic Gun, I guess, but still pretty basic. And this is him, Token Awakened into Super Vegeta. Final Flash. Alright, so there you go, guys. Actually, no, I think he also has Super Attack. Yes, he has Super Attack for the World Tournament Gohan. Hyper Masenko. Yeah, nothing too crazy there either. Alright, so those are the Super Attacks, guys. Thank you very much again to DBZ World for posting those. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of those super attacks. I feel like they were done better, at least. Very, they're definitely done better than the Goku and Frieza, but um, for the first three forms, it was kind of meh, and then for Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue, they look awesome, of course. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's pretty much all the news I have for you guys today for the data download. Um, as you can see here, Future Gohan, 23 million points, easy A's. So no new easy A's in the data download, but there is a new category that's added to global, which is the Vegeta family or Vegeta lineage category. So, I mean, if you take that as some kind of clue, then maybe it is telling us that we're going to get those easy A's, but I don't really know. I still have to uh, keep you guys posted on that. But that's it, guys. That's all the news we have for today. Super Saiyan Gohan, Future Gohan for World Tournament, Transforming Vegeta's coming, uh, Int Vegeta, Super Vegeta as well, and, uh, you know, dope arts for Vegeta, and nice super attacks too. So that's all I got to say, guys. Let me know in the comments down below whether or not you plan to summon for this Vegeta. I'm going to say right now that there is a fairly high chance your boy Tiger is going to be summoning, and I might be bringing a very special guest. Very special guest to the channel. Not gonna tell you guys who yet, but um, let's just say he is a legend in the Dokkan Leaker community, and that's all I'm gonna say. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found it helpful, useful, whatever. And if you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, 
then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you're gonna stay up to date with all of my latest content that's all i gotta say guys hope you have a fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>